Hello everyone, KC Runner for KC Runner Games, and I'm back today with another episode of Hustle Castle. We are in the midst of the Musketeer Hustle, it looks like there is a little <laughs> bubble popping up here on my head, quite interesting. But yeah, in the midst of the Musketeer Hustle, I have not done anything in the event since the last video, so today I'm just going to do some gameplay, going to see if I can get extremely lucky and get a rune or two. Uh, based on everything I've been hearing from you guys, the chances are extremely low, considering how many opportunities I have here. And I'm gonna, you know, take my chances, get a bunch of food. I'm gonna get through the, get through some stuff to spend some food, and just do do some normal daily gameplay. So let's go ahead and see where I'm at. As you can see, I've only opened 11 so far. I'm pretty sure that's where we ended the last video. I might have done a couple, trying to get some food, but I haven't got anything. Um, shoot out here to the front. So I am obviously still holding off on these three new runes. Plus I'm missing the rune of craftiness from an event before. Um, I believe I said in the previous video, it seems like 300 runes seems to be about where everybody seems to get all their runes. So give or take, you know, when I say that, pe some people have actually thought that I meant at 300, you're guaranteed to get it. No, that's just, I mean, my view is it's like a normal bell curve. So there's gonna be a lot of people within like 10% either way of that, but then that still spreads out for a long way. So some people are gonna be way less, some people are gonna be way more, but the majority of the people would be within that 300 range. And that's kind of what we're seeing. Um, I've seen uh, one person reporting there over 500 and they don't have them all yet. Um, I don't know the specifics of it. If, you know, they started with, at what point you know they started they didn't have any they had a bunch or, or what it was so and i'm sure if you don't have any and you have what one five we got nine eighteen twenty seven runes to get now so obviously if you don't have any and you get 300 you're going to be getting them all the time i only need four so i'm not going to have as many opportunities to get them um it also seems like in the past few events I've done of this type, the collection, card collecting events, I've gotten to like level 130. I think last time I might have been 160 before I got my first one to show up. And I've seen some other people sh seeing results like that as well. Um, some people get you know less than like 30. So I have, I have a chance, but I'm not expecting it. Um, especially the way things have been going. It's been over 100 before I've gotten my first one. So, you know, I'm going to take my chances. We've got 91 chances here to uh, get lucky and see if I can't uh, pull that off. I don't know why I'm going to go click on all of these because I'm going to still be sad by the time I'm done. Whoops. And I have done that many times even getting this video to go. I keep clicking on people and moving them. It doesn't seem to work that way in the game itself. All right, so here is where I am at. Let me go here first to see. So I've only completed five of the nine collections. got a long way to go. Uh, I did not buy the pass, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yes, I did not buy any of the passes, and I don't think I'm going to because it doesn't really get me anything that I'm going to necessarily... Um, need and i'm not grind, able to grind it as hard as i want to either so um i'm going without the pass this time again which i believe i did last time so i'm going to start here wherever i have the highest minimum number so we got seven on that one six six nine nine eleven there we go oh, nine 11 and 12. so we're going to start at the bottom here we're going for the rune of persistence just go ahead and jump in and see if I can't get lucky. And I am running this on the app, the PC application rather than the uh, emulator. And it does look like the chests are opening quicker and it's not quite as painful as it is on the emulator, which is kind of nice. So um, I'll be back in, backing out of the uh, opening up these chests as my luck is bad. I like to do that and kind of like reset my luck. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that is the thing with uh, randomness. You know, you can kind of see patterns and things. So um, anyway, so if, if things are looking bad, I'm going to back out. Also, if it looks like my cash is getting full or my food is getting full, I have some places to go spend that food. And especially since we're in the PC version, things might go a little bit quicker. Um, so it won't be the worst thing in the world. Actually, I'm going to go spend some of that food right after this one right here unless something good happens. All right, so I'm, going to, I'm getting a lot of bad stuff. I don't think it's all that great, so I'm going to back out. I have 671,000 food, so I'm going to go spend some of that right here in the Musketeer Hustle. I've already gone through and have completed part of the path here, but you know we can go ahead and take a look to see one of the new items or no, new pieces of functionality that were added as part of this event. Hopefully the volume's not too low. I did a little bit of testing. It seemed like it's probably okay. So one of the very much requested um, 
enhancements to this game that's been asked for for a very long time is this button right here, this next battle button. They finally added it to the Daily Invasions. That's been for some time in this event, in this game, but they didn't have it in the event. So you click on it, it takes you all the way back. You have to click and click. We still have an extra click here by having to click on this, which is a bit of a pain. When you have instantly heal ready, everybody's ready to go. So it'd be nice if you hit next battle to jump right into the battle. You know, that's probably asking a little bit too much, but instead of doing two clicks, you could do one, but two clicks is definitely better than the three or four that it was before. And less loading screens as well. So this this whole process of getting through it, and especially if you have a um, a setup going where you can just blast through things pretty quickly without even paying attention, it's nice just to be able to get through your 16 battles without even thinking. And that's pretty much what I'm doing here. And I, I have my artifact on my hero that is um, Resurrection. I don't need that, especially since uh, I have instant heal. If I didn't, you know, if somebody happened to die, I might want to resurrect them so they'd be ready to go into the next battle a little bit quicker. But since I have that, I don't have to worry about even firing off my hero, my hero um, special move there, which is kind of nice. So anyway, with my setup here, I can blast through pretty quickly. Once I start battling uh, other players, you know, depending on their build, I might have to pay a little bit more attention. But the PVE bosses that we're fighting and the dungeon bosses that we're fighting they're pretty pretty low level here so I, I'm, I'm gonna guess that they're tr10 bosses uh, or maybe even basic tr11 i'm not sure but my fairly strong tr11 squad gets through them quite easily so not gonna complain there it makes it nice and easy and i haven't been refreshing my uh path here this this whole journey once it's done you can pay a couple diamonds refresh it and go through it again i haven't been doing that just because there's events going on in all the other games I'm covering, so one of them finally finished, so Shelter Ward does not have one going at the moment. So there we go. This That would have been a time maybe to use my refresh. He did refresh himself anyway. He reanimated himself anyway, but... Um, anyway, so yeah, down to three events, but it's, you know, the... My schedule, I'm not going to get into my normal thing, but my schedule outside of doing these videos is extremely busy at the moment with work and everything going on and trying to keep up the Discord server and... Now that we have an event going on, I do see some of you uh, participating in the Discord server and get some conversations going. Uh, a lot of it happens to be around, you know, when when the runes are dropping and things like that. Um, so we're getting there. I'd like to continue to see that uh, that growth on the server. I know Hustle Prime is the, the main place that most people go, and it, for good reason. It's a fantastic Discord server where you can find out anything you want about the game. It's really good. Also, trying to grow my server as well. It's not quite as busy. It's not quite as much going on. And there are a lot of people that certainly know what what's going on with um, with this game and the other games I cover. So uh, be sure to check that out. Plus, that is the only place I've been doing giveaways lately. Uh, there's one going on right now. It's going to end before I post this, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I do them weekly, just like I did, used to do in the videos. Around, mainly they're on Discord just because I haven't had time to get the videos going and processing all that. So I hope to get back to that sometime soon on a more regular basis. But uh, right now, it's just been there hasn't been time for it. So everything's in Discord. So be sure to uh, jump on the server and you give yourself the Hustle Castle role on the welcome page and then you um, find the HC giveaway channel and enter the giveaways whenever I post them. So like I said, it's every week. Lately it's been, you know, like Tuesday. I think I might have done one on Wednesday, sometimes Monday. So they're open for anywhere between 20 hours to several days. So if that's something you're interested in, and in the giveaway, if you guys don't know, I do uh, 10 separate winners get 500 diamonds every week. So if that is something you're interested in, like I said, all you do is click on a button on the uh, giveaway channel. It's very easy. And then I have a bot that automatically picks 10 people randomly from the list of everybody who entered. You guys send DM me, DM me your ID, I turn into the game, and you get diamonds. Simple as that. So easy for you, uh, fairly easy for me as well. So so here we go. So I'm on the final boss level. You can see we got the orange chest here. I haven't opened any of these chests, so maybe today we'll open some of those as well. We'll see how, uh, how long this video is going and how things are going. So I don't have uh, anything, but opening these also gives you more cards so you can complete more collections. Um, but there's my boss power, 14.9. I'm at 16.8. I don't know if that's a true 14.9 because uh, he goes down pretty easily. My squad is pretty good. Um, unfortunately, with the recent arena changes that they made, um, my 16.7 to 17 million squad constantly fights 20 plus. 20 million plus. Um, I've been in several where I was the only one under 20 million or is me and one other person under 20 million. So almost everybody's 21, 22, 23 million these days. Obviously my challenge is my hero is very weak. It's actually fairly compact and strong, but 
weak as far as uh, not fully maxed out like everybody else's is. All right, so I went ahead and spent some food. Uh, I have how many coins? We got three million coins, so we're good there for a while. Let's go ahead and open up some more of these collections. Go back to the bottom. Going for the Rune of Persistence again. And if I do happen to get lucky to pull one of these, then I'm going to go ahead and open up the rest of this area because all of these collections will increment my total uh, total open collections, which hopefully will reduce the chances of me getting one on the other side. Or one of the other paths, anyway. Alright, so nothing exciting has come out of any of these collections so far. Which is fairly normal, obviously. It's kind of nice I can get in there and blast through these pretty quickly. Alright, so I'm not even getting anything interesting, so I gotta back out and do my normal thing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this one, because last time... Uh-oh. Last time, obviously, it didn't make a difference either, but in my mind it might have. So I'm gonna go change some decorations. Let's go... What do we want today? Sure, that looks good. Let's give some... Oh, what? I didn't save it. Ah, I don't have it. That would be why. Hmm. Springtime. Do we got a good springtime one here? Underwater? Nah. Right, let's go sandstorm. Sure, why not? I don't have that one either. Alright. It's gonna be cloudy day. Nope. All right, fine. You win. Sunny day. Oh, that's weather. Don't I have a storm down here somewhere? I do have a storm. That's the one I want. There we go. Storm. That's what I've been looking for. With, uh... That was the one we were on. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Nice stormy day. The bridge is looking a little bit better here. Oh, those refreshes are really slow. Let's just pick any, and hopefully I have it. Um, that one looks interesting. Don't have it, of course. There we go. Icy bridge. Guess we got freezing rain going on flags. I don't care. Roof tiles. No, no, no. Okay, we'll go with that one. So all of that's going to change my luck. I just know it will. Maybe not. And I am only 26 collections in, so obviously... Mathematically, statistically, compared to what everybody else is doing, I'm not going to hit one of these. But if I talk about it enough, maybe I'll luck myself into it. I've actually had pretty bad luck, I'd say, lately with, you know, me, oh, finally something slightly interesting. Having to get 130, 160 collections before I can get one, so I think I'm due for an early one this time. In the past, people used to say I was incredibly lucky. I used to get all the good stuff all the time, but I think those days have gone because that does not seem to be the case anymore. All right, these are all common. I need something more. Oh, man. I need something more and better than common. All right, the one thing I don't like about the PC version is you can just click on people. Usually when you click and hold, they don't let you grab them, but that does not seem to be the case in the PC version of this game. All right, I'm going to switch to a different area. Maybe that'll help. Confrontation this time. We're looking for the Rune of Flexibility. No. There we go. Very nice. Will I use it? I'm not sure. But I already have two incinerators that I'm running right now at the moment. Um, I definitely need to do some re... Um, revisiting of weapons and armor and just gear in general for my... Uh, for my set, so I'm sure I can make use of that at some point. I'm actually at the point now where I'm not even using Mithril, I'm getting it, and I'm just like creating stuff just to create it. I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to build any sets or anything, so I'm kind of just wasting. Look at that. Might as well break that down right now because I won't use that. Health, 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 and a spell power again. Eh, mm, I'll keep it, why not? I don't think I'll use it, but. Come on, so 334, I was up to like 600,000 Mithril, people weren't attacking me too much, but um, my, my trophies are at 2347 because people keep attacking me, so they, they are getting it slowly over time and I haven't been dropping trophies, so I like to usually keep around 21, 20, 2100, 2200. So that's where I will get back to eventually, and maybe during this video I can do that just because I gotta spend some of this food anyway. 
actually getting less than I expected. All right, we're 40 collections in, and we've gotten one essence. That's about the only thing of interest up to this point. A whole lot of nothing. There we go, another legendary item. I guess I could say I've gotten the other one of those, so that's, that's two legendary items. That is complete trash. We'll break that apart right now. Don't care about that. Times two. I haven't been doing the, uh, what's it called in this game? We got the Labyrinth in American Dad, we got the Bunker in Zero City, and we have the Dungeon. Yes, the Dungeon in Hustle Castle. That's how long it's been. I need to get there because my ether is low, and I want to do some more leveling with my hero. So I need to get back to that. Last time I visited my mini account, I was able to... Uh, uh, I was able to complete 100% every single time, but the game's been evolving and changing, so who knows if that's still the case. All right, let's just finish these off. I did make the comment about this last time that you're not guaranteed to get premium, you're not guaranteed to get the uh, the guy that collects for you anymore, and that apparently has ruffled a few feathers. That's not, uh, it used to be a guarantee every time up until now. Um, I might have gotten one of them, so it seems like the drop rate's turning that great. So every one, I'm getting nothing. Um, so there's definitely some people not very happy about that. And you know, maybe they did that because now you know premium gets you automatic healing and stuff like that. And you also get the um, the global healing by not having premium. So maybe they figure the importance of getting premium is a little uh, devalued, I guess. So they're not giving away for free. Overvalued? I don't know. Just guessing. Let's go and just finish this last one here. So we need... You're not going to tell me which one I need. I'll just take one of each of them. I think it's up here, right? Do you tell me? You don't tell me which one I haven't done yet. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, so we're almost done with these up here already. Five more. And that is done. Which I can click through these fairly quickly, so the the opening animations aren't quite as slow as they used to be. That's a nice uh, nice change for being on the emulator, that's for sure. Not being on the emulator, that is. All right, so we've got that last one. So this one is another chance for premium, chance for the Goblin Assistant. And this top one up here, I think, is a guaranteed legendary, just a basic legendary, I believe. We'll find out in a moment. Plus guaranteed premium, plus guaranteed Goblin for three days. 33 to restore. Nothing special, it's just a basic uh, armor, um, as long as you're doing events, as long as you're buying stuff from the arena when it's needed, and getting free stuff from challenge style events and stuff, um, none of those basic items are going to be anything you're going to use. But the good thing is you can break it down and use that to help you with sets whenever you get to the point where you're making sets. Alright, so those quests are done, 38 more collections to go, let's just go ahead and blast through them, why not? One, two, three. I'll just go here, and then we'll spend all our extra ones on a chance to get two runes. So maybe slightly better chance to get something. All right, not not what I'm looking for. Blues and greens, not interested. Everything's greens. I wonder if they change the way they do their statistical uh, I'll, I'll go into my theory here a little bit. I was going back and forth whether I was going to say it or not. But you know, my theory normally is you kind of come into the screen and you start start opening things, and you kind of like get some randomness set when you enter. So you're either going to get something, a bunch of good stuff, um, a ton of bad stuff, or whatever it is. So whatever that theme is, it stays with it until you kind of like. For me, I kind of like back out here, move around, move around. Probably has nothing to do with it, but kind of back out and come back in. Almost like it resets the value of the items you're going to collect. So I go back in, now I have a better chance. Um, I've, I've seen some some possibilities that that's true in the past, and some people have said they've seen it too, but again, I, you know, humans are pretty good at spotting patterns, even if the patterns aren't there. So it probably is nothing, um, but it doesn't seem like it's working as much in this PC version, version, so maybe they changed the way they do that, or maybe it's not really there. Entirely possible as well. All right, so here we go. We have, uh, what, like 30 more chances? 29 more chances to get the Rune of Intelligence or the Rune of Craftiness. Both of which are missing, and both which would be the first one for me to get during the event. I'm not going to worry about food anymore at this point. The cash, I don't think we're going to be going too far over, so I'm just going to blast through everything here. 
Oops, wrong button. Alright, so it seems like the items that are available are much worse than normal. Again, whether it's the way this PC version is working, I don't think so. Or they dropped, dropped the quality of everything, not sure, but um, I've opened 71. I've only really gotten one thing that's... I guess I've gotten three. Two legendary items and one essence. That just seems... Uh, I'm not expecting it to ruin like I said, but that just the, the level of items that are coming in are very, very uh, low. Which, like I've said many times in the past, which is why I don't buy extra items, extra chances, extra cards, extra collections, because more often than not, it's just, look at that, I can scroll in and out with my mouse with this version. That's nice. Okay, I like that. Nice little feature I didn't know about. I don't think I can do that in the emulator, but I will have to try. I think the, the scrolling does something else. Wow, so these are really bad. These are blues and grays. I'm backing out again. I'm going with my theory. Obviously changing the background didn't matter, but I didn't change it to the event background because I didn't buy the event background, so um, maybe that would have made the difference. 14 chances to go. Come on, give me one. Something orange, at least. That's nice. There we go. Another essence. Okay. The inventor set. That was why I, I actually have quite a few of these. I was I was leveling that one up. I don't have an inventor yet, but I guess if I decided to do anything, maybe that would be the one. Ooh, a purple one finally. And a decoration. Oh, man. Now, see, look at that. We got two in a row where we got some quality stuff here. 5.3, I think that is useful for me. Two times in a row. I'm not going to back out. I'm going to stay in because, again, we're getting some good good things. Not runes, but still good things. And back to common. They're not all perfect, so I don't expect everything. All right. Now we're back to greens again. Not good. All right, done. Out. Our luck is over. Seven chances left to pull. Oh, man. Every time. Seven chances to pull our first rune. And maybe I'll open some chests to see if I can't find nine more collections so we can get the uh, artifact up there. Again, I'm not I'm never going to use that, but something a little bit better than the basic items. Okay, not much. Three more chances. Come on. Orange, but not useful. No. Last chance. All right, even though I expected it, it's still disappointing. 91 chances in, no, ooh, that's interesting. There we go, it just didn't upgrade yet, yet or update yet. So 91 chances in, and uh, nothing. Let me go look at these chests for the event here. Yay. Uh, plenty of opportunities from previous events. Uh, where is it? So this is the premium final one here. Oh, there it is. 120. Where are we at for food? Our food is maxed out and cash is at six. I'm just going to not worry about the food at this point. That's fine. Let me see where we're at in length here. 23 minutes. Okay. So we'll just open a few. You get a lot of junk in these as well. Oops, wrong button. And as you can see, I got a card. I meant to open more than that. These, are, these chests are good. If you don't need the cards, they're good to save because you do get food and you can use those for grinding the portal or whatever you're going to whatever you're gonna do. Just normal everyday grinding. Um, so they're highly useful. And that's why I have so many sitting there. But I just haven't had enough time to do any grinding. Um, if I run out of time, I run out of food, I just go to a different game because there's plenty of stuff there. So, ooh, look at that. A skin for a wand. Interesting. Yeah, so... Um, so because of that, I haven't been using these much. All right, this is, well, at least got some coins on that one. More food, lots of coins, nice. Good to use when you upgrade your TR to the next level because you can get lots of resources for uh, for building. You can open a bunch of these, get your stuff, and build rather than just let it sit there and let people steal it. All right, two more chances, I'm gonna stop. We'll see how many cards we get. There we go. Let's see, 7.2. I'm going to go spend a little bit of that, I think. Or probably a lot of that. 
depending on how much dust I have. And I completed no more collections. Very nice. All right, I guess we're going to be stuck at 91 the way it looks. Let me go spend some of this cash. Gems. Upgrade. All right, looks like I am in the process of upgrading you. How much dust do I have? Very little. Ugh. Yeah, before I spend that, maybe back. Let's see if I got any merging to do. Nope, 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 and nope. All right, well, I'm back into the problem I was before. Where I just don't have enough uh, dust. I need to do some more work in Gem Bay, which I, during this event, I've done it a few times, so I've, that's why I have a little bit here. Um, yeah. It's just armor that's not being used. Look at that. Power of the sea plate. Looks like I need to do some revisiting here and do some cleanup. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go back to what we're doing. Level up. Not gems in use. Back to... Where were we? Damage here. Level that guy up. Boom. Boom. All right, I'm going to check one more thing on a theme that I've been talking about previously was getting getting Tom here up to speed to be where everybody else is. So Legionnaire, Legionnaire um, I have one. I'm just not using it. So that's actually one of the essences I've been building to try to, um, I don't know that I'll build two of them, but many of the top players are running one to two of them. So I want to do one quick check here to see. Um, to see if that's what people are still doing. And then once this event ends and things die down, then hopefully we'll get back to that and assuming it's still meta and see how I get to put that guy put into my, my build. Because mine's actually working pretty good at the moment, to be honest. So well, there's one. Six of six. And what is that guy doing? Critical hit steal triple, guaranteed penetrate, boost speed, and increased damage. Cursing and restoring. Okay. And another one here. Nope, that's not Legionnaire. It is. All right, increase crit and triple, quadruple speed when dealing critical wounds to target. So some pretty good stuff. So still running double, it looks like Legionnaires. There's two. Dracula. This is a Dracula um, Paladin. Incinerator. This is the light guy. No, nope, the illusionist. Illusionist paladin. Interesting. There's the plate of mail of light. Awesome looking build on that one. Fantastic. 3.1 million. All reds. Very nice. Another dark cool, it looks like. There's a legionnaire. Okay. So yeah, it looks like legionnaires are still the way to go. Need to figure that out. I think part of the part of that is I need to get my hero leveled in a way to take advantage of that because I don't have my uh, my tanks up front doing a lot of damage uh, based on my uh, hero so I think that will be a big missing item that I need to add so we'll revisit that uh, sometime in the future so all right well that will do it for the musketeer hustle so far obviously not a lot of success I got three more days to try to be able to maybe get lucky and complete one rune It'd be fantastic if I got lucky and got four but the reality is I'm not going to be anywhere near 300. If I do serious grinding the next three days, I might be able to get to like 130. So that's that's the kind of mode I'm in at the moment. So it's possible I'm going to get nothing, which would be a major bummer. But it is what it is. Not going to not gonna lose any sleep over it. So um, just a game. It's all for fun. And uh, my build without that stuff is doing pretty good as it is. So it's not going to be a major game changer for me. My low power is my biggest uh, downside versus my build not being very good. So anyway, we'll revisit all this stuff in the future. Hopefully you guys are getting the range you're looking for. Hopefully you're finding what you want and what you need. And until the next time, this has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will talk to you later. See ya.